Welcome to The Shimmering Dark. In today's video, we're going to be making a light academia inspired kitchen herb garden. You're going to need containers to hold your plants like the ones that I thrifted, which are featured in the beginning of the video, some stones to put in the bottom of those, and some extra soil. And of course, you're going to need your plants. To start, I'm just laying down some paper here so that I don't get soil all over my lace doily. And I'm going to bring out my plants. So my herbs are cilantro, mint, and basil because those are some of my favorites, but you can choose whatever you want. I wish that you could smell these because they smell incredible. Right, the first thing we're going to do is take our plant out of the container, starting here with my basil. Basically these plants are a little bit large for the containers that I have, so I'm just going to pull off some of the excess dirt um, to get it down to a smaller size. You don't want to pull too many roots out, but if a few of the small ones come off, that's fine. Right, you can see it's getting smaller here. Looks perfect. So I'm just gonna go through and do this for each plant. So here is my mint. And then I'm gonna follow that one by doing the cilantro plant. Same thing, I just wanna break this down so that it's a little bit smaller. Here is my first container. It's a thrifted Victorian ceramic boot. It's super adorable and perfect for this project. The first thing you want to do is take the stones. Um, I actually took these from my backyard from a planter that I had, but you can buy these at the store. And you're just going to put a few of them in the base of every planter. This will help the roots from not getting oversaturated with water. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this for each container. I also thrifted this piece for only a couple dollars and I actually painted it gold myself. It has a really cute Victorian vibe. And the last piece that I thrifted is an adorable, perfect for springtime little teacup. Now it's time for the potting. So take your herb and just set it inside the container. Make sure that it fits well. And then if you have room on the top, you're gonna to take some of that excess soil and just sprinkle that around to make it flush with the top. This looks adorable. I love it so much. So I'm going to continue on and do this for each of my other pieces. Just again, fit that in there as best you can. You might need to take a little bit more dirt off in situations or add more dirt, um, but make sure that it's fit tightly in there um, and has enough soil at the top. After I planted my cilantro, I noticed that it was falling over a bit. This is probably happening because the plant's taller and the vase doesn't have something for it to lean on in the front. So I'm going to remedy that by taking a little plastic piece of a plant card and sticking that in here. And then I figured why not make this even more Victorian and adding some lace to hold up the plant. So a lot of times you have to stake plants like this. So I'm just going to do that with the lace. I'm going to pull it around the front and then tie it so that it's hooked around that plastic piece of card that I stuck in. I'm 
I actually really like this addition. It kind of adds a light and airy touch. So I'm just gonna trim up the edges here to make them look a little cleaner. And there we go, functional and cute. Just gonna give these guys a little bit of water to start. One thing that I did read is that if you're potting in small containers like this, just make sure that you don't overwater them um, because that's how you can have those roots sitting in too much water, even if you have stone in the bottom. So just giving it a tiny bit here, and then as they start to dry out, I would water them again. All right, so I'm gonna clean up this paper with all the soil on it, and we're gonna move on to making some really cute tags for these plants. For this part, I'm going to bring out some of my stamps, some string, scissors, cardstock, a piece of tissue paper, and these little fake flowers that you may have seen in my last video. So the first label I'm going to make is for the teacup. I figured since it's a teacup, why not make the label look like a little tea bag? So I'm going to take that small piece of tissue paper, it's folded in half like you can see, and I'm poking a hole in the top so I can thread the string. For the other labels, I'm just cutting my cardstock into these little shapes. You could really do whatever shape you want. I just like these because it reminds me of garden markers. All right, same thing here. I'm gonna poke the needle through so that I have a hole to thread the string. Now I'm just gonna write on the name of each herb. For the mint tag, since that's going on the teacup, I'm just going to do a little bit something extra and fun and put a couple stamps on the back side of the tea bag label. Now I'm going to go ahead and thread the string through each of these tags. So for the tea bag, I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to be tying this onto the teacup handle, um, so I'm just doing that as one string like this trimming off the edges. Then for the other tags, I'm gonna make that more of a loop as I'll show you here because we're gonna be hanging that from the planter. All right, perfect, here are my three plant labels. So now, as I mentioned, I'm gonna use these little artificial flower pieces because they are metal and sturdy, and I'm gonna use them to hang my plant tag on. So this is just something that I thought of doing. You could really do anything here. You could put a little stick in or anything that you can hang the label off of. I think it looks cute because it gives it a pop of yellow. Adorable. And then for the teacup planter, like I said, I'm just gonna tie this directly to the handle. So it kind of looks like it's the label of a tea bag as if there was a tea bag in the teacup. This is so cute. I love how it came out. So here we have it, the Light Academia Victorian inspired kitchen herb garden. You're gonna wanna set these in a window, keep them watered, and hopefully they will flourish. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and I'll see you guys next time.